Hi, my name is uh, Andrew Gould. I am the COO and co-founder of Squirrels and Squirrels Research. Um, and we're giving you guys a look at our office. GPU hoarders, you guys know I'm Dave, my partner. Uh, made that sign, we put that up there. Our war room. Um, so this is where we hang out and strategize. Uh, you can see the leftovers from last night's strategy there with the Dr. Pepper and Hershey's cookies. Uh, over here, this is our common area where we uh, hang out. We'll have uh, group meetings here, stand-up meetings, that kind of stuff. This is our cafeteria area where we have snacks. Uh, we have a bevy machine. Um, lots of free food and drinks for, for all the squirrels um, to stay nourished and hydrated. A lot of people hang out here during lunch, sit around, talk about things going on, new technology, latest news, whatever. Hang out and uh, get to know each other. Uh, when it's nice out, we'll grab some burgers and hot dogs and, and grill out there. And we have some picnic tables outside here, um, which is cool just to just to kind of hang out and enjoy the nice weather. Uh, we don't get a whole lot of that here in Ohio, so <laughs> we enjoy what we can get. Some office space. So up here, this is our web dev area, so all of the web developers um, sit in this area um, and work on all of our different web app products, um, both on the Squirrel side and now getting into the Squirrel's research side. Uh, this is our creative cube, so it's where our designers sit. Uh, they design all the logos, the, the Beast SQRL logo, um, all of that was designed in there. Um, it's my Lego collection, I'm a big Lego nerd, lots of Star Wars. So then back through here, uh, we have our QA, uh, another little cafeteria area here, um, and then our QA lab uh, where we do testing. Uh, primarily we do testing of our Squirrels products in here, um, so our different software apps, Reflector, Air Parrot, that kind of stuff. We have a different lab that's set up for testing the new SQRL stuff um, with all the GPUs and Acorns and that kind of stuff. So back in here, uh, they're doing rapid prototyping, repair, um, all that kind of stuff. 1525 hanging out here, doing some work on that with the squirrel. Uh, early acorn work was done in here before we went off to uh, CM prototyping. We've come across the sky bridge here to our developer office. Most importantly, this is uh, GPU hoarders, uh, supercomputer that we built. Um, at its peak, it had a hundred and some graphics cards in here that were doing um, high performance computing, uh, Meridian Prime research, um, running running 24-7 on that. Um, this is all liquid cooled. Uh, GPU hoarder built a custom um, liquid cooling system that's above us in the ceiling. So it's basically two big tanks, kind of looks like a pool filtration system um, with heat exchangers at either end the air blows through and then there's baffles that we can open in the winter time we actually use the supercomputer heat to heat this side of the um, the office because it generates so much heat so that's all up there it's kind of hard to get to but it's it's as crazy as you can imagine something GPU hoarder would come up with uh, it's a peek at GPU hoarders <laughs> mad scientist lab I can open that door if it's hard to shoot through the glass. Awesome. Just won't get any good audio from it. <laughs> you know, it, just because a company's in America doesn't mean they're immediately trustworthy either. That's true. I, I totally understand people's skepticism. <laughs> This is our, uh, our custom uh, mining area that we built um, when we were uh, first getting into mining crypto, mainly mining Ethereum in here. And we do have some ant miners. We can give you a, a tour of each of the, uh, the houses as we call them. Uh, they literally have screen doors on the front of them. So this first one's called the Lazy Ant Susan uh, because it has literally a Lazy Susan inside. Uh, full of ant miners. So the cool thing about this is you can rotate it to get to the ones in the back. Without having to shut anything down or climb into that. Um, there's a tremendous amount of negative pressure in here that's pulling the hot air out. Um, and yeah, you wouldn't actually want to climb inside there. So 
These are primarily the A3 miners, A3, I believe. Yeah, A3 mining SIA coin. There's a few Bitcoin S7s in there and, and such. Then in here, uh, we have custom GPU rigs that we built. Um, these are our custom uh, GPU order designed uh, enclosures. There's a couple of ant miners that are just tucked in here because we ran out of space. the largest mine you'll ever see or the most impressive. Um, it's mainly, we call it dabbling. Um, it was never done to try to, to build the biggest mine. Uh, a lot of this was learning, um, trying to figure out what the pain points were in setting up a complete custom GPU rig. Um, a lot of the things that we struggled with here um, led us to ultimately the products that we're making now for SQRL, so the Acorns, um, the Nest cards, and then Jungle Cat all came from sort of lessons learned and, and hardships and difficulties that we experienced in here. This one we were in the in the process of, of filling up uh, when the, the great uh, GPU shortage of 2017 uh, started. It became harder and harder to find GPUs at same prices. Um, and that was really when we started putting a lot of R&D into doing our own hardware. So it was kind of a natural, we kind of ramped down on building mines and instead started focusing on trying to build hardware. So, so this box is only kind of half full of graphics cards. There's random ant miners tucked in here as well too as uh, random people at our company buy them. We just let them throw them out here and kind of co-locate them. So to, to draw all the heat out of here, um, we've installed a series of uh, 25,000 uh, CFM fans. Um, I think we've got four of them up there. Um, they're, you know, as, as wide as my arms. Um, they were actually pulled out of a, uh, a Walmart distribution center where they never used them. Um, and and uh, GPU order found them on Craigslist for pennies on the dollar and, and brought them here. Um, there's actually one on the shelf here that you can kind of get a scale of me standing next to it. It's awesome. Cool. Appreciate it.